All right, what's going on, guys? It's time for another weekly recap. It's been a little while, but we got some stories to talk about. So first of all, you guys may have seen this one. It got quite a bit of attention on Twitter already. I mean, just look at that ratio. 13K retweets, 39K favorites, and 48,000 replies. So that's how you know something ain't right. I'm sure you're wondering what could have caused such a reaction, right? Well, the tweet in question comes from PETA so I think that says quite a bit already but let's take a look words matter and as our understanding of social justice evolves our language evolves along with it here's how to remove speciesism from your daily conversations stop using anti-animal language instead of kill two birds with one stone say feed two birds with one stone instead of be the guinea pig say be the test tube instead of be a dead horse say feed a fed horse <laughs> instead of bring home the bacon say bring home the bagels instead of take the bull by the horns say take the flower by the thorns now i don't think i really have to explain to everyone why this is pretty stupid i mean listen i'm all for animal rights protect the animals save the animals that's great i love animals however this is taking it a little bit too far, don't you think? Like, I'm pretty sure birds aren't offended by the phrase, kill two birds with one stone. And you want to know why? It's because they're a fucking bird, okay? They don't understand what we're saying. So I don't think we really need to worry about hurting the bird's feelings. Like, okay, just get the fuck off your little high horse, PETA. Like, we get it, man. You're PETA. You're vegan. You don't eat meat. You want to protect the animals. Good for you. But, like, don't try to, to sit on this moral high ground above everyone else in the world, like, looking down at us like, oh, look at us up here. We're standing up for animal rights. You know, we don't eat meat. We protect animals' feelings. And you know what? You don't do these things. So you're a piece of shit. Meanwhile, their organization is killing thousands of animals every single year. They don't want to mention that part. But apparently, I'm the terrible person because I want to eat a cheeseburger. Okay, listen, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I like animals. I really do like animals, but I'm going to eat the fuck out of a hamburger, some steak, some chicken, bacon, ham, turkey. Fuck, bro. I want all of the meat, okay? I need that meat inside of me. No homo. So fuck off with your stupid anti-animal language shit. Like, nobody cares. Find something better to do with your time, please. How about you actually save some animals? Imagine all the time you spent making this stupid anti-animal graph and thinking up all this dumb shit you could have used that time to actually done something productive towards animal rights since that's apparently what your whole organization is supposed to be about so maybe a little bit more saving the animals and a little bit less worrying about the feelings of guinea pigs just my thoughts on it but let's move on to the next story this one is very important to society so pay attention starbucks will ban porn on its free wi-fi in all u.s stores next year watching porn in Starbucks was always banned, but the company did not actively block pornographic content on its in-store Wi-Fi. In a statement on Wednesday, Starbucks said, while it rarely occurs, the use of Starbucks public Wi-Fi to view illegal or egregious content is not, nor has it ever been, permitted. We have identified a solution to prevent this content from being viewed within our stores, and we will begin introducing it to our U.S. locations in 2019. Wow. I, for one, am offended. I will not be taking my business to Starbucks anymore. That's the only reason I went there. You know, had to get some coffee, jerk off. Hey, it was a great time. Nah, but I don't actually drink coffee, so I don't ever really go to Starbucks. But for those of you that do go to Starbucks frequently, I don't know how many, like, 15-year-old white girls are watching my videos. Probably not very many. I don't know. I just assume that's, like, the, the main Starbucks demographic i could be wrong you know don't hit me with the me too or anything but is this a common occurrence for those of you that, that actually go to starbucks have you ever seen anyone doing this or maybe you do this yourself i mean don't be shy go ahead admit it it's okay i wouldn't think it happens very often i mean they did say it happens rarely but it did happen enough to the point where they felt they needed to actually 
ban porn from their internet servers. So, I mean, I just can't imagine going into Starbucks. You know, I order a coffee. I sit down. I'm waiting for it. And I just pull out my laptop and I just load up the Pornhub and, you know, start looking at shit. Like, I mean, you got to be a real fucking weirdo to do that, man. Like, are these people jerking off as well? I mean, I'd imagine they weren't going that far. You know, that that's definitely noticeable if you just pull out your cock in the middle of Starbucks. You know, I don't think you could do that. So I guess they're just looking at porn. I don't really understand the point of that it doesn't sound good they're just sitting in the middle of starbucks with a boner and pornhub pulled up and that's fun i guess i don't know i, mean, I guess it's more about like the thrill of getting caught you know like these little weirdos are like oh you know what i'm gonna look at this porn oh i hope nobody catches me bro like yeah man you better hope nobody sees you man that's how you get put on a list okay next thing you know Every time you move into a new place, you got to inform all the neighbors, all right? You're on a watch list. You better not be getting caught, man. That's not okay. But I was not aware that this was such a big deal at Starbucks. I guess I missed out, man. I could have enjoyed some nice porn and coffee. I don't know. But I guess you fucking perverts are going to have to find a new place to go jerk off at. You know, maybe hit up the Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what their policy is. I mean, shit, they're probably trying to get that business from Starbucks. They're like, hey, don't worry, you fucking freaks. Come on over here with your porn. I don't care. You can get all the porn you want over here. You know what? We'll supply you with some porn, all right? Y'all might want to watch out hitting up the Dunkin' Donuts now. That's where all the fucking weirdos are. You know, one of them little weirdos might just sneak in the back and he might glaze some of them donuts himself. You know what I mean? So, you know, you might want to watch out for that. I'm just saying, bro. So, you know, anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Just wanted to let everyone know that porn is no longer allowed at Starbucks. If that was one of your hobbies, you know, I just wanted to give you a heads up. But uh, we're going to wrap this up with... With one final story, last but not least, this is not a crime. Now, however, this is not your typical episode of this is not a crime, all right? Definitely a bit of a twist on this one. It, it definitely correlates to the series, but it's just completely different at the same time. So I think the best way to introduce it is to just read you the headlines. So let's see if you guys had the same reaction to this that I did. Male teacher punished for refusing to watch trans student change in the law. Locker room. Now, when I first read this title, I, I had a couple different thoughts in my head. My first thought was that I had suddenly become retarded or something because this title just didn't make any sense to me. And then I thought, well, maybe they just made a typo. You know, something is wrong with the title. I, I just don't understand what's going on here because I don't know if things have changed recently and I missed the memo. I mean, I don't know. But as far as I know, adults are not supposed to be watching children take their clothes off. So, you know, that's definitely frowned upon at the very least, I would say. So this title had me a little bit confused, you know what I mean? Like, surely there's some sort of misunderstanding here, right? So we should probably go ahead and check out the article so we can clear this up. A physical education teacher in Florida was punished for refusing to oversee a biologically female middle schooler who identifies as male potentially get undressed in the boys' locker room. The school stunningly allowed the female student to have access to the boys locker room without so much as informing the male students who would be sharing the locker room with the girl or the student's parents. With a gag order, school administrators forbade teachers from talking about the change and ordered a male PE teacher to supervise the potentially undressed girl in the Chasco Middle School locker room. The letter says, when he refused to knowingly place himself in a position to observe a minor female in the nude or otherwise in a state of undress, administrators told him he will be transferred to another school as discipline for not doing your job in the locker room. So it seems that there was no misunderstanding in this title whatsoever. This story is exactly what I thought it was and I'm a bit mind blown right now because when I was in school teachers would definitely be getting in trouble for watching students change, all right? Apparently, nowadays, they are getting in trouble for not watching students change. It sounds to me that this teacher was a normal, respectable human being, and he got in trouble for being a fucking normal person. That, that's what it came down to. The fact is here, a grown man did not want to watch underage children take their clothes off. That's it. That is the fact of this story. And somehow, he got in trouble for that. What a 
fucked up backwards world we are living in, bro. Like, this is why I wanted to include it in the this is not a crime segment because this is not a crime, you know? They're acting like it is. They're acting like he did something wrong, but he did the right thing. Like, this is this has nothing to do with the student being transgender whatsoever. That has nothing to do with it. The fact is, it is not part of a grown man's job requirement to watch students change that's fucking weird listen i played sports in middle school and high school it's not part of the coach's job to supervise the kids changing like that's just fucking weird like who thought of that what this is just a weirdo fucking school i think in this school apparently it's a crime to not watch children take their clothes off but the crazy part is if he was watching her i bet that would be a crime as well they'd be saying this dude's like a pedophile too this is just a no-win situation for the guy Either Either way, he either gets labeled as like transphobic and he gets in trouble for not looking, or he does look, and now he's he's a fucking pedophile. He gets hit with the me too, you know what I'm saying? So either way, this dude was taking a L, man. He just was in a tough situation. So that's pretty much it for the video. I'm sure some of you guys played sports in school or you're playing sports in school right now, and I just like your opinion. Like, this is weird, right? Like your coach isn't required to like walk around being a dick inspector, right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to uh link me anything for future stories just send me the link on twitter i'll check it out if i like it i'll include it in a video be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you are not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right